this week on The Great American Baking Show. Tonight, we crown a champion baker. We started with 10, and now we're down to our top three. Three bakers remain. Valerie, the New York City lawyer. All of my hard work and practice has paid off. Cindy, the floral designer and favorite grandmother. The fact that I got such positive feedback is really rewarding. And Molly, the English professor. It would be wonderful to win, but we're all pretty evenly matched. In the signature challenge. On your marks. Get set. Bake. The bakers were asked to make two dozen palmier. 12 need to be savory and 12 need to be sweet. I am so ready. Made it this far, of course I want to hopefully win this. The perfect palmier is all about laminating the dough or folding the dough with a good butter. It's really a pain in the butt to me. The bakers loaded the palmier with their favorite fillings. Cook. But it was down to the wire for them to finish both flavors. I don't know where the time goes. I really don't. Where does the time go? We only have 19 minutes left. They are not going to have enough time to cook. These are cool enough. I'll just go ahead and plate these. Please bake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Five. Four. Three. Two. I hope they like raw pommier. And a one. When it came to judging, Cindy. It couldn't color because the temperature no. was too low. Yeah. You must have a hot oven initially for pommier. And Molly failed to impress. Oh, dear. While Valerie received high praise. I think overall your palmiers are crispy, flaky, full of flavor, and I think you've done a great job. Thank you. For the technical, the three bakers were asked to make a chocolate caramel tart. This tart sounds amazing. If I can do it correctly. Take caramel and spread it on the bottom of the tart, and then you pour this chocolate ganache on top. Pipe the caramel in an even spiral on top of the tart. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas. That's a cut out. Oh my god. This is really hard. Ah! Ta da! In the end, Molly redeemed herself and beat out Cindy and Valerie. Look at the shine on that. For me, it's perfect. After the signature, I think they could have said, do brain surgery, and I would have accomplished it because I had a fire in me to do better. The final showstopper challenge put our bakers to the test, making a tower of treats. Every minute is absolutely accounted for, and there's a lot to bake. This is the last challenge our bakers will have to face. They've got to rise above their nerves and really concentrate on their bakes. I am making my cheesecake crust right now. The bakers put their heart and soul into three delicious bakes. This is where all that yoga comes in. It builds up this muscle. And while not everything went according to plan. Oh, boy. You have failed me. This one I won't be able to use because it's a little too well done. But you can have it. They each ended up with spectacular showstoppers. We did it. With their final bakes complete, the festivities were underway. All that was left was to see who would win the coveted cake plate. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Absolutely all three of them deserve to be in the finals. There is no doubt about that. First up was Cindy. Quite like the decorations, it works. The tart is, it's crispy, it tastes great. Okay, thank you. Then Molly. I think you've done a decent job, actually. You get kicked in the face with the kirsch, <clears throat> and then the cherries, and then the chocolate cake. The execution is very nice. Thank you, Molly. And finally, Valerie, who had Paul jumping for joy. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I am thrilled to announce that the winner of the Great American Baking Show is... Valerie! <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Valerie. I'm really proud of Valerie, actually. I've seen her grow over the weeks, just get better and better and better. She did an amazing job. 
this is only the beginning. I want to keep growing as a baker, and I hope to continue to share my bakes with people. Yeah.